Look at this space. Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> Hey, and what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Better Media. Well, here we go. Um, as you saw at the beginning there of the video, I'm in a new space. Yeah, you may or may not know, you may not be that interested, but who knows, we have currently moved home and you know, one of the things that sold me about this new house is this wonderful space at the end of the garden, which is sort of like a, a double garage really, but it's a fantastic space for a studio, especially the fact that you know our cars can be parked in the front for, um, front drive. So we have this wonderful space now that we can sort of adapt. Um, I'm very excited about it because it's the first time I've actually had a separate space, a space where I don't have to uh, kick out my kids from the living room or try to find someone within the area to uh, rent out. Or anything. I've got a space that I can sort of adapt and make my own. A few little TV problems, mainly as you can hear, probably that the sound isn't the best. Uh, there is a road literally right by the garage door, which you know I might need to find a way of trying to soundproof that. Um, but I sort of bought a sort of like a studio kit, as you saw with this quick little video, time lapse of me building it this afternoon. Again, still a few little things that need to be done with it. Like I need to iron out these little square things here, obviously because it was folded up when the packaging came. Um, but yeah, just sort of learning how to place lights and how to sort of redevelop things. And I'm, I'm really excited about having this space going into the new year. Um, but let's crack on to what this video is actually all about. Don't know if you've seen the last couple of videos that we have released, but we've been doing a sort of um, sort of speed ramping, reverse your footage type thing. So we thought we'll bring it into a nice little bit of a package with, um, with basically this example clip right here. It's basically sort of like a rewind, like sort of like an old fashioned rewind video um, using the same sort of skills that we've learned in the last two clips. If you've not seen those videos, I will add links to it um, at the end of here. It'll be either this side or this side, depending on which side I do, but I might just sort of go with this side here. So let's jump straight back into Premiere Pro and this one might take a bit more, it's a bit more tweaking, but I hope you stick with us until the end. Okay, so this is the effect that we're going to try to do today. It's sort of a, like a video rewinding. That's it. So as you can see, it's going forward, then it rewinds, and it comes forward again. We do it a couple of times before the end of the clip. So if you'd like to follow me into Premiere Pro, and here it is. We are back with our smoke bomb, um, which I set off the other week. And this is the clip that we're going to go for. So first things you need to do is that you want to quite find where you would like your clip to start reversing. So I'm gonna say around about after the two second mark, just there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it there by hitting the C key on my keyboard, or of course, you've got the razor tool just there. And we're gonna cut that like that right in the middle. And I'm gonna come back by hitting the V or the arrow icon there. And then we're just gonna move this to one side because we do still need it, but we don't need it right now. And then this is the bit. So this one second here is what I want to reverse. So once again, I'm gonna cut it again like that. Come to V. Now, this little clip here, this one second is the bit that we're going to rewind a little bit. So we need to make a couple of duplicates of this particular one. So if we go and press the Alt button and then move up and across, this is on the Windows workers. And there we go, so we've got a duplicate of that clip. Now at the moment, it's playing forward. We don't want that. So this second part of the clip, we want to reverse. So if you right click on that and go into the speed option, and then there we go, we've just got the reverse speed. So if we click on that and press okay, what that has done is that has just reversed that clip. So it goes forward, 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 
and then it will reverse it going backwards. Of course, I've got the red line, so I need to render it in a second. But of course, we want to do that a couple of times. So I'm going to copy this one again, move it across, down, and do the same with this one as well. So move it across and down like that. So I've got, oops, didn't work that time. Let's do that again, shall we? Alt and across and down. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm just going to add that back on the end. Okay. So in theory, what I've got is got going forward, backwards, forward, backwards, and then forward again. Okay. So I'm going to render that and bring these guys up into the red line. Bring it green. Take a few moments. Okay, so there we go. So he goes forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and then forwards again. This is exactly what we want. So heading back to the first forward bit. So we're just going to do a little bit of an effect here. So we're going to go into up top here and to effects controls. So we're going to do. So first we're going to mess with around the scale of it. Now I sort of know the numbers I want to do. Um, so I'm going to go straight in and add the, the, um, the numbers that I want with uh, my scale and rotation. But of course, you can play around with it any way that you want. So I'm going to make a keyframe first on scale, keep that 100, and also on rotation as well, keep that 100. So another keyframe like that on zero. And I'm going to bring these to the front half of the clip like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another keyframe, but I'm going to want that to be 108. And I'm going to want that to be three degrees like that. And I'm going to bring that to the end of the clip, just like that. You see? Now, with the reverse side of it, you want pretty much the same, but backwards. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go into this one. And we're going to go backwards. So we want the 108 keyframe Wash. and then we want the keyframe of three degrees there and we want that at the beginning and then we want 100 and zero at the end like that okay so is that way what that's now doing is that is matching up so when you go through those keyframes it will be exactly the same and it will come back again for itself so you want to do the same with your other clips so going forward so scale and rotation bosh bosh and then 108 and three Finally, at the end, and one oh eight and three, like that. There we go. Right, so that is pretty much the bulk of it done. But what you do want as well is trying to make that effect so that nice little effect going on here and that is the wave warp effect so i'm going to go into the effects panel up here there we go and we're going to type in wave w a v e and we're going to find it a little bit down here where is it wave or wave warp wave warp there it is so we want to wave warp and then we're going to want to bring it over to our rewind our reverse part of the clip not the one that's going forward the one that's going back so we want obviously the second one there and if we go into effects and make our way all the way down to a wave warp and we've got all these little options here so as you can see it's already doing a little bit of work 
on your clip, but you don't want it to go up and down, you want it to go side to side. So you need to just change a couple of these things here. So first one, right at the top, you want the wave type to be smooth noise. So click on that all the way down to the bottom. So it'll be smooth noise. Um, I like the wave height to be 100. So I'm doing that. The wave width to be 80. Like that. Now, direction, I'm gonna bring down to zero. Just like that, there we go. And then everything else is pretty much just right, exactly the same. And of course, I want this to be on both of my clips. So instead of having to go all the way over to here and click on that and go for the same thing, I'm just going to simply highlight that, right click on that part there, and I'm gonna copy those settings. I'm gonna come over here. Grab my wave warp again. Stick it on that one over controls and I'm simply just going to to paste Hold on. paste them like that there we go there we go I'll paste them on there like that there we are perfect so in a complete and utter theory now that will run all the way through and then it will rewind with that nice little effect and it'll go forward again rewind with that little effect again so i'm going to render that and this is in fact the end product of this little tutorial and we're going to head back to my new studio check this out and there you go, that's it, done and dusted. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun making these last few videos. It's been quite enjoyable actually. Um, I've learned something new, so I thought I would pass it on to you guys. I've actually um, been researching this myself. I wanted to know how to, to speed ramp, and when I've learned how to do it, I'll put it into my videos that I've been working with. I've actually quite enjoyed the process and the outcome. So I thought I would pass that on to you creative people who um, are subscribed to my channel and who like to sort of learn new things to make. It's all about trying to make your videos sort of bounce, stand out, to be better. You know, I, I know that my videos have been okay and I'm still learning, I'm still progressing, but this is something that I'm really, really excited about, as I told you before, because this opens so much more possibilities for me. It really does. I have a larger location. I have um, the means and opportunity to work more, to do more. So I really hope that we can um, grow together. I think it's the best way to describe it, grow together, because I'm still growing as a creator, as a filmmaker, as a photographer, as, as everything. You know, I rely on YouTube to help me learn quite a fair few things, and um, I hope that's one of the reasons why you come and watch me. So, if you do want to see some, some more of my videos, and you do want to learn more, or if you are just interested in what we do here at Ben & Media, um, please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notifications, and also hit the bell, so you will be always updated with all of our videos when we create them. Hopefully, in the new year, we will start doing one of these every week, every two weeks, that is the hope, because um, that's me moved house now, I don't need to do that again for a very, very long time, <laughs> that's the plan. Anyway, um, but yeah, until then, maybe, maybe I'll try squeezing another video before the end of the year, um, but maybe not, if not, we will see you again very, very shortly. But until next time, thank you so much for watching our videos. Don't forget to check out the other two videos over on this side um, if you want to catch up with anything that we've spoken about uh, within this video. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for so much for being here. Just, just thank you. See you later. Mwah, 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 mwah.